6 knots you need to know Sheet band The sheet band is a binding knot, typically used in seafaring, camping, and general purpose from home to backyard. It is used to join two ropes with different diameters and types. Seamen use it for heaving the tug's messenger line with heaving lines. It has variations to be more secure. To do this, form a loop in the end of the heavier rope Pass the free end of the rope to be joined under the opening of the loop, then weigh up to make all the way around both parts of the heavy rope, then back under itself. It is important to make sure that the end of the smaller rope to be long enough. For more secure, you may turn it into double sheet band. Just simply wrap around one more time. For easier release, you may change it to slipped sheet band. It is formed by placing a bite between the loop of the heavier rope and the standing part of the lighter rope. You can do it also in the double sheet band. Just form a double sheet band and end with a bite under itself. Timber Hitch As the name implies, it is used to tie a rope to a timber, used in seafaring, camping, and general purpose. In cargo ship, it is commonly used to tie a rope to the plank, or poles such as pipes or other equipment during cargo hold cleaning so it can be raised, lowered or dragged or pulled. Let the rope passes down the post and all the way around up. Then twist the working end of the rope around itself. Three twists are usually sufficient to form it. When a single hitch is added to the near end of the log or spar with the timber hitch at the further end, the resulting killick hitch enables the log to be dragged without swinging around. Figure 8 loop It is a loop used in seafaring, camping and climbing, and also general purpose. Climbers use it to attach a line to a carabiner. Mariners use it to directly on safety belt where special lines is not available. Start with a bite. Then form a figure 9 of this bite the bite being under the two lines then take the bite up and then way down to the hole to the eye take it up and pull together the figure 8 loop now is formed glove hitch Glove hitch is widely used by mariners to secure a line to an object, such as spar or railing. To start in the middle of the rope, take a rope on your hand and twist it away from you to form a loop. Doing the exact way forms a second loop. The second loop goes on top of the first loop. The hitch is ready to put on an object. 
here it is the cloth hitch on the post To tie from the end, you bring the line all the way around an object, then the loose part of the line goes over the standing part of the rope, then bring it all the way around one more time. The loose part then will go underneath the overlapping line. The proper cloth hitch will have no binding, no jamming, and all parts are parallel to each other. Bowline The bowline is a loop knot used in seafaring, camping and climbing. It is one of the best known and widely used knots, especially among sailors. The bowline is great in forming a fixed loop at the end of the rope. First, start with making an overhand across the working end. The loose part goes to the bottom of the loop, then around the working end and back to the loop. To do it faster, swoop around the working end, then round the loose part of the rope, then back to the loop. Here it is. Zeppelin knot. The last knot is Zeppelin knot. This is one of my favorite knot because it is the highest breaking strength, gem resistant and easiest knot to release even you need no power to undo it. It can be very high strain yet still very easy to untie. To do it, form a loop of figure 6 on one side and figure 9 on the other. Then overlay one loop on the other, such that the figure 6 over the figure 9. Pull either loose end once around the loop and the other rope. Pull the ropes like this to form the zeppelin knots. This is the strongest binding I ever had. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Thank you and see you next time.